Hello, it's good to see you again. My name is Thomas from company Atexor, your hazardous area lighting partner. Let's refresh on the difference between portable and transportable EX rated equipment. These differences may have a huge impact on how we are able to install and use the equipment safely and in line with standards such as IEC. To put it simply, EX rated equipment certified as portable may be used and moved without any major restrictions when they are plugged in and thus energized. But for transportable equipment it's an entirely different story. In fact, the original meaning for transportable was to be moved by something like a forklift. That doesn't sound too simple, does it? Now, how do I know whether the piece of equipment is portable or transportable? The only positive way to confirm this is to have a look at the user's manual and the certificate. If there are no restrictions in these documents on how the equipment should be installed, that means it's 100% portable. Another matter we have here is EX certification for the equipment itself. Let's take a typical example, EX rated extension cords. Say you have a plug and a mobile socket, both with a certificate. So far so good, but when you take a piece of cable and put them on it, what do you get? Is the whole extension cord under one certificate or not? Both blocks and sockets are EX rated components only, just like enclosures, terminals and cable glands. They are a piece of something complete. Therefore, extension cords should also be certified completely and come with one EX certificate, preferably for portable use. So, portable or transportable? Well, it's just about where and how you are planning to use the equipment. Atexor designs, manufactures and certifies all the equipment for their actual application without compromising safety of the product. If you have any questions about hazardous area lighting, call us. We're happy to help you. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.